this love Yeah, I gotta keep it trendy on my soul I'm the most selfish person that I know Here we go down the rabbit hole Got a couple carrots from my neck And we are live, welcome back to Mesco and Moguls It's your boy, the one with the scar in space, your boy Scarface And thank you guys for joining me for another episode uh, I want to shout out to everybody who keeps supporting the podcast Keeps, you know, sharing it Keeps, you know, voting for us You know, we won the best uh, podcast here in Southeast Idaho So shout out to you guys for doing that for me I really do appreciate it So uh, if you guys want to help out Just please leave like a five-star review or anything like that uh, Wherever you're listening to If you're listening to on YouTube If you want to w- watch the video version Give us a thumbs up, you know, share it with somebody uh, And shout out to everybody who donates If you go over to the podcasters for Spotify uh, You can put a donation in there for every month Thank you to everybody who ke- keeps doing that Every month, uh, I truly do appreciate it and also, we do sell hat pins if you guys want to support the podcast that way. It's uh, it's linked in my... Sorry, I had a burp because I'm freaking... I'm drinking a rock star and uh, probably the caffeine in it. <laughs> but uh, uh, if you guys want to buy some pins, you know, go over there. You can you can get them. It's Everything's linked in the, 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 the description. I actually got them right here. We have a, a straight razor. We have the baseball. And then we also have the Sleeping Goku. You know, shout out to everybody who keeps purchasing them. Uh, you know, you guys, the support is unbelievable, and I really do appreciate it. But today's episode, I wanted to get into uh, something a little bit different. Uh, I mean, not different, but obviously we talk about a lot of intimacy. Stuff, intimacy, intimacy. I can't talk today. What is going on with me? <laughs> um, so I've been getting messages. People are like, oh, thank you for like um, the podcast. Thank you for the TikToks. Thank you for all this advice you give. Uh, and it's basic communication. You know what I mean? So one recently, you know, shout out to her for sending me the message. You know, I'm obviously not going to put her name on blast or anything like that. So she pretty much communicated with the guy what she wanted. She wanted to get slapped. She wanted to get choked. She wanted to be thrown around. And uh, based off the message, I put it on my Instagram story. She had an amazing time. Okay. And see, and sometimes a guy doesn't know that or a guy is not too comfortable doing that, especially if they've never done it. And I remember when I first slapped a girl, <laughs> I slapped her like a fucking wimp the, the first time because I I don't hit girls. Like I I just feel weird hitting girls, you know, slapping the booty completely different. I could do that, you know, but slapping their face. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the first time I was like, damn. Uh, she gonna freaking report me. I'm gonna get the police are gonna show up. They're gonna be like, you were hitting her and stuff like that. And I was just <laughs> more worried about that. But then obviously that wasn't the case. But uh, but some guys don't know what you guys like. You know, obviously you don't want a guy. Say you don't even like that. You don't want a guy to, you know, that you're hooking up with right away like, slap you and you're just like, what the fuck happened here? You know, like, uh, or if you don't like, you get your hair pulled. You know, there's some girls who don't like that. There's some girls who don't like different things. And and same with guys. Uh, I had a message also saying if I would ever let a girl eat my booty and see like that's something I'm I'm just not comfortable with you know I'm not comfortable with I don't want to let a girl around that area I just don't know I just don't want to you know what I mean and it makes sense too like when you tell you know when a girl tells you that they don't like certain things but I think the biggest thing that we we lack is communicating with the, the person that we're trying to be intimate with You know, some people assume that the other person is going to know everything that they like. Uh, No, and that's not the case because, again, like, I'm not going to go in there throwing right hooks to somebody, (laughs) you know. Um, And some guys are just not comfortable doing some of these things because they've never been in that been in that position, like where they can do it or they don't know if the girl likes it. They don't want to show the girl that they like. They have a freakier side to them. Uh, But as you can see, like with that message and that's not the first one. That is not the first message I got. There are several messages that I get basically saying, hey, you know, thank you for like for that. I, you know, sharing the videos or they share their videos and other guys get put on game, you know, because at the end of the day, that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to help other guys, help other girls, help everybody be more spicy, intimate, you name it. We want it all to happen. So, uh, again, but you also have to like coach them through. Cause I remember, like I said, when I first slapped a girl, I was just not comfortable with it. You know, uh, of course I wanted to do everything she wanted me to do because I wanted her to give her the best experience possible, but slapping in the face, I had to just like kind of, cause the first time was like a weak, weak ass little slap. <laughs> and then after that, she was like, no, I need you to slap me. And I did it a little harder. 
And then I, I just like basically looked at her like, is she okay? Like, is she going to cry? Is she going to like call the cops or something? No, but, but it turned her on even more. And so, and everybody is different. I remember I got the, the sh- a lot of shit for, for a while about the, the time that I was cutting the girl because that's what she liked. Okay. Disclaimer. She's the one that wanted it. Not me. Okay. Um, I also felt weird about that, but everybody's different. She liked to get cut in her inner thighs. She like the blood to run down and so on and so forth. So, um, but these are like, everybody has different things. <laughs> uh, even on the, when I do the, the dirty little kinks, the, uh, the fetishes and stuff like that on my TikTok, some of these things that pop up there, I'm just like, damn, you, you wild, you know? Uh, and then there's some things that I didn't even know. Well, I didn't think about it. There was the one that I posted recently talking about sucking the girl's thumb while you're in her. Uh, cause you get double the sensation, like uh, from the, foot to the you know to the vagina and stuff like that but i didn't think of that that i'm like oh that's actually kind of true you're actually again i've never been a uh a foot person so that's another big thing like i've never like oh my god she has amazing feet i need to freaking lick them and suck on them and so on and so forth no never been my thing <laughs> uh but everybody's different because there was this one chick not i wasn't talked to her or anything like that but i was told and i saw uh, she loves guys' hands, you know? She loves guys' hands, meaning, like, she likes to lick them, like, just basically, like, lick the hand, suck on the fingers and stuff like that. And, like, she had a hand fetish, okay? And I was just, like, I don't know what she finds so attractive. She wasn't doing it to me again, by the way. She was not doing it to me. I just looked at my hand because, like, I was, like, what is she attracted to, you know? Uh, uh, that got her completely turned on where she she wanted to do some of these things, you know, like, to, to this person so that's why i said like everybody is a little bit different but i think the biggest thing is coaching whoever you're with if it's the first time you know obviously the first few times you're starting to learn that person okay uh i go based off body language and if they're not giving me very much body language i'm like what the fuck like uh do they just like to lay there, you know, or, you know what I mean? So like you have to f- try to figure them out and then slowly start introducing new things. Even some of the people, when I, I even posted a TikTok saying, when is the right time to in- start introducing like some pain th- type of th- behaviors like choking, slapping, hair pulling, uh, other forms of pain. Uh, and they said slowly get, I, I asked right away or slowly you know, start introducing it. And for the most part, a lot of people said slowly introducing it. Some people just said off the top, like right hook me, mother. <laughs> um, so, but for the most part, it was slowly introduced stuff. So that's why I like, you never know who you're going to get. You know, you don't ever know if it, the first person you hook up with or the, the next person you hook up with is like free game, like do whatever you want to me. Or if they're like, let's slowly, I want to get comfortable with you. Uh, and so on, because that, that's how some people are. They want to get comfortable with that person before they start doing freakier things. And that's why I said, fellas, like, invest some time into your lady, to the girl you're trying to talk to, and you'll realize, or you'll start unlocking this other side of her, a freakier side, a more, uh, like, a partner side, meaning, like, she's ride or die for you. Like, if you do the right things for her, she, trust me, she she is by your side. But you have to get to that point. And then if you get her to that point, don't think that she's going to just stick around just because you got her to that point. Like you have to maintain, uh, keeping this person happy. Cause there's some of these questions, bro. Like they're not intimate anymore. You know, they haven't been intimate in a while. Like what should they do? Like, and just think about it. Like how young are you? I posted that video of me dancing and, and, uh, on, on, the on TikTok, I posted like, you only live once, so just live your life, you know, basically is what I put. And say, like, with being intimate, like, why would you lack in it? If the person you're with is not giving you what you need or what you want, and you told them, tried counseling, tried all sorts of stuff, and it's not working, like, what what are you waiting for? Like, what what are you waiting for? You're waiting for somebody to come and, like, slap the shit out of him, and then he's going to be like, oh, my God, thank you. I needed that. I'm back to how I used to be. No, because people get comfortable. People get comfortable, and that's why when something comes up, don't wait to say something. Like, if I start changing, because, like, uh, I remember I was talking to a girl one time, and she told me that she felt like I was becoming more distant. And I I honestly didn't think I was, but 
more stuff coming out started coming onto my plate and and I started getting busier and and like things started happening like that and I didn't realize I was being way more distracted with work and and things that like work basically that I was talking to her less and less and less and I was just like oh shit like that's not what I was trying to trying to do uh I was like hey my bad like uh I didn't mean to do that I didn't mean to make you feel like that thank you for telling me and I changed it up I was like all right you you like if you like this person you got to try to put in the effort, you know, to see if this can possibly work. And it ended up not working out for some other reason. But, uh, but you know what I mean? Like, I was able to be like, oh, shit, like, let me fix that. Uh, so don't be afraid to bring something up. Some people are like, oh, am I going to come off a little clingy? I'm like, no, like, set your boundaries. Tell them what you will and will not accept. And trust me, if a guy really likes you, he'll change that. He'll be like, oh, shit, I'm changing that for sure. Um and then also, like, back to the intimacy part, just because I want guys to be a little bit more open to do things, you know? If, if, if your guy is struggling to, like, if you're waiting for him to change how he is being intimate, see if he's more spicy, no. Tell him, you know, because some guys are like that and they don't know how to read body language or they don't realize that they want more, like, they want to get, the girl wants to get physical, meaning, like, she likes some sort of pain and stuff like that. Uh, so you have to tell the guy, you know, some guys just don't know or some guys just don't want to unlock their freakier side because they might feel some type of way about it. Because that's how I was in the, like, way a long time ago, you know? Uh, you're just like, well, I kind of like doing this, but should I wait until she asks me to do it, you know? Instead of being like, maybe I should just kind of do it and and do that. Because I didn't realize I was going to like pulling hair. Like, shit, I like that. <laughs> uh, and at first I was like, I wanted to do it, but I was just like, should I do it? How hard should I do it? You know, uh, what if she gets mad if I do it? You know, because the most she's going to be like, no, don't pull it. Okay, my bad. <laughs> like, and then keep going. But it totally depends. Uh, and that's why like, if if the guy is not making the initiative and, and doing the things that you like, we need to communicate because I like these messages. Like she basically said, uh, I'll paraphrase it here. She basically said that she was talking to this guy. She communicated with this guy that she wanted to be slapped, choked, thrown around, and just like have that type of intimacy with her partner. And so the guy listened and did as she wanted. And she said it was amazing that her clit is going to be sore for days because I guess she had an amazing weekend. And you see... You see what happens with a little bit of communication? You can't always assume a guy is going to know everything, you know, or waiting for that perfect guy. Uh, of course, you can find a guy that has a lot of the good qualities that you like. But then, obviously, some things you can change, you can make better. Uh, you can, you know, help them, especially with the being intimate part. Like, I know some girls are like, oh, he doesn't know how to go down on me. Well, kind of teach him. Like, if you like him like that, be like, hey, you should try this next time. Don't be like, you're doing it wrong. Do this. No, just be like, hey, next time you should try this. You know, it felt really good when you did it last time. And, you know, something like that. Um, and then I know some guys get intimidated by toys. So what you could do is like, I always talk about the sex couch, okay? And it almost looks like a, a banana, a uh, banana chair. But it's it's made so you can put the girl in different positions. A guy is more willing to probably use that than they will any other toy that they get from any like uh, adult shop or anything like that. Then once you introduce that, maybe you can introduce something else and so on and so forth. But, you know, don't just go in there and be like, yo, I got this thing. Like, what's up? And he's going to be like, what the fuck? Are you crazy? You know, because some guys feel intimidated by toys, especially toys, because they feel like they should be able to. Uh, it's an ego killer, you know, because if you get a toy, you'll be like, well, I'm not doing it for you or what? You know, because um, guys, egos get hurt very easily. And that's another way. I mean, if you want to make a guy. If you want to destroy his ego, tell him he sucks in bed or something like that <laughs> uh, when you guys break up. And trust me, he will. No, you suck. <laughs> uh, but slowly introducing new things, you know, maybe the couch, maybe some edible stuff, maybe some like something that. Uh, that you put on your body and he takes off lingerie uh, where you guys are doing it, get be a little spicy and exciting, do it in somewhere, you know, you're not supposed to be doing it, but that adrenaline rush you know because we i mean not with you but i'm sure most people have done it somewhere where they weren't supposed to do it and it was a rush so 
you know, something like that. Do something like that. Make it a rush. Make it some sort of um, switch it up, you know, different positions. Like if there's a certain position that you want, introduce it. Be like, hey, I really want to try this position and then go for it. Like what? Why are you guys not like I get it. Some girls want the the guy to completely dominate you and just like throw you around and do things to you. But some guys need to get to that point. You know, you're, you don't come out the womb like freaking a sex god, okay? <laughs> uh, you have to, like, slowly start learning what people like, what they don't like, uh, how to do certain things. You know, uh, there was a, I mean, I won't get into that, but there was someone teaching me something. Not, like, in bed. I'm not, I wasn't, like, hooking up or anything like that. I don't want people to be like, oh, who are you hooking up with? Uh, I just had a few questions, so I asked a girl, like, a few questions, not a girl I'm hooking up with just because I don't want her, like, I'd rather ask a different girl, you know, just in case, you know, that's something you add to that arsenal of uh, moves, you know what I mean? So uh, I was just asking you a few questions and I'm sure like some guys, you know, have female friends and you can just ask them a few questions, be like, hey, yo, like, how would I go about doing this? And I'm sure that girl's going to be like, oh, shit, well, do this, you don't do this. Um, don't ask your guy friends, OK, because they probably don't know. I would rather ask a girl how to please a girl and asking another guy how to please a girl, uh, you know, if that makes sense. Like, you know, like when we're surrounded, like our guy friends and stuff like that. And it could be that nobody in that circle is killing it in, like in the in the bedroom. And but then that they're giving each other advice on how to kill it in the bedroom. So I would rather ask a girl for her, like, hey, like, you know, I'm trying to do this. Like, how should I go about it? And they'll basically be like, well, th do this, do this. Some girls would like this. Some girls would like that. And then you're just like, ah, oh, okay, okay, you know, I see you. Thanks for the advice. See, it's not afraid. Don't be afraid to ask these questions, especially if you're comfortable with some sort of girl uh, that you have. Because, like I said, I have friends who are girls, and uh, I'm sure. And whoever I start talking to, I would not hesitate to introduce them to my friends because, like I said, they're just friends. But just like your friends, you, you ask. Like, my guy friends, for some certain things, you know, you ask for advice. And why, so why wouldn't you ask the girl for certain advice? I'm not going to go ask a guy how to do this because, like, how do, how do I know the way you're doing it is how the girl likes it to be done, you know? So I'd rather ask a girl how she would like it to be done. That way I know I'm like, okay, well, she said she's, it's like this. Some people are like this. And, you know, and then you start learning. See, don't be afraid, fellas, to ask questions, especially if you can ask another female. Ask the question, you know, uh, because I'd rather, like I said, I'd rather learn from that. Um, so, again, fellas, do not be afraid to ask. If you have a friend that that you said is just a friend, you know, I know some people were like, oh, they're trying to hook up. No, uh, I, I like to ask those type of questions to other girls. That way I can get their perspective and see if I'm going to be doing it right or doing it wrong. Or what am I missing? You know, what am I not doing right? You know, and things like that, you know, because you want to go in there confident. You want to go in there being able to kill it. So I'd rather ask a girl. So and, and the biggest thing is just communication. Like, again, I mention it time and time again. Talk with your partner. Not every but not every guy. Some girls. And you know who you are. <laughs> want. Just everything in a man, meaning like he has to be stable. He has to be well off. He has to be amazing in the bedroom. He has to do this. He has to do that. But you're it's going to be hard to find somebody who like is just all well-rounded all around. OK, he might like in the bedroom, but doesn't mean you can't show him if he's not willing to learn. OK, that's a whole different story. If he's not willing to be like, oh, OK, like that's what you like, but I'm still not going to do it. No, then that's the wrong guy. You know, if this girl would have sent me a message to be like, he didn't want to do anything, I would have been like, girl, he's not going to do it at all. Okay, go find somebody else who will going to do it. Because you see, there are guys who will do that for you. You know, and if you talk to them, if you chat with them, they will do what you, if they really like you, they're going to change how, you know, they're going to change whether it's like uh, if they're doing something bad or just improving, like in being intimate and stuff like that. Because uh, like I remember when you, I mean, I think a lot of people when they're growing up, especially on your first kiss, like you don't know what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> like you see movies, you see all this stuff and you don't know what you're doing, you know? So you're like kind of winging it. 
Like, let's be honest. You're out there just winging it. No guy, their first kiss was fucking amazing. It could have been just a peck, but as soon as, like, it's the, the tongue starts getting involved, trust me, I remember uh, some of my first kisses, there was a whole lot of tongue, and now, now I look back and I'm just, bro, like, what were you doing? <laughs> I was like, damn, that that was, but I was a kid. I was learning. You, you, you don't know. So you don't know what you don't know. Okay. And then slowly uh, you start seeing what is actually working, what girls like, what they don't like. Um, and of course it was also some coaching from girls that I was talking to at the time. They'd be like, Hey, like, that's not really that hot, you know? Uh, and it was weird because, like, there's also guys the stuff that guys don't like that girls probably think that we're fucking crazy about. I remember this one chick, like, we were hooking up, and she, like, was going crazy on my ear. Like, the way she was, like, licking it. And I'm just like, the fuck is she doing? You know, like, I was just like, what are you doing? And she's just, like, licking your ear. I was like, why? That shit does not feel good. Like, the way she was, and she was like, you don't like it? I was like, no. <laughs> like, it just really, the way she was doing it, I was just like, what the fuck? Maybe she was with a guy who who liked getting their ears freaking completely slobbered like that. I don't know. Not me, though. I didn't like it at all. You know, and that's why, like, it's good to communicate. I didn't tell her in a bad way like that. I was just like, she was like, oh, you don't like it? I was like, no, no. Like, And it just kept going. You know, I just basically kind of like a, I remember there was a girl that she didn't like to get her hair pulled, and she was like, oh, no, don't pull it. That was it, and we just kept moving on. Instead of being like, whoa, shit, if I can't pull it, we ain't doing this. You know, or like, well, this is awkward now. Like, this is, uh, you know, not going to work out. Uh, that's why, like, you slowly get into that stuff. But see, and there's also things that guys don't like. Like that, I don't, I didn't find any joy in it. You know, I didn't get turned on by it or anything like that. I don't get turned on by feet. You know, there's some people who have that foot fetish, especially guys. And then I don't get turned on. There's another one, the whole, like, smelly underwear. Like, I don't know why that, you know, that's not me. <laughs> that's not me uh and so but i get it because there's like certain things that that i like that maybe somebody else some other guy doesn't is not going to want to do you know uh and an example again is the hair pulling like every time like you know you start thinking about intimacy and stuff like that i instantly like think about pulling their hair like how like it feels and like when you're pulling their hair uh, doing it doggy style. You know what I mean? Like, that shit turns me on. So, I get it. Like, maybe uh, looking at their feet makes them feel some sort of way. So, I never knock anybody for liking feet or anything like that. Like, I at first, I thought it was weird when the girl li really liked hands. And I was just like, well, that's what... Do your thing. <laughs> like, if you love hands, then, girl, do your thing. I'm not here to judge at all. Uh, because I like my things. She likes her things. And, you know... Everybody likes their thing. So I think that would be the biggest thing uh, to help. Because I really want people to communicate with whoever they're with. Meaning like setting boundaries, not just intimacy wise. Like if there's things that you don't like that they're doing in the beginning, bring it up. Bring it up. Like, hey, I don't like that you did this. I don't like that you do that. Because again, if they like you, they will change it in the beginning. And then if you wait until later on to finally bring it up. They're going to be like, well, I've been doing it this whole time. Like, why didn't you say something? Like, now it bugs you, you know? Because uh, later on, those arguments, they're they're completely different. Like, if you have an argument in the beginning, it's completely different than having an argument later on. You guys know what I'm talking about. Like, in the beginning, you're just like, hey, I really don't. Like, the argument's not really an argument. But later on, the guy will be like, well, why didn't, like, why didn't you say something? Like, before, you know, you never said anything before. Like, why are you bringing it up now? And then you're just like, shit, I didn't want to bring it up before, you know? So just don't be afraid to bring things up, set your boundaries, because at the end of the day, like, no one's going to, you know, you have to protect yourself, okay? There's only certain things that you'll take, and if they completely cross your boundary, that's when you know, hey, yo, it's time to go. Because I said, if they cross this boundary, my ass is out. And because if, if they cross that boundary, and then they see that you don't do anything, you don't leave, you stick around, then guess what? There is no line there. There is no boundary there. Now they know they can do more. And you're going to let more slide. So that's why, you know, you have to let it know in the beginning. Uh, and depending on how long you've been with somebody, hook up with them. If, like if, if you're actually like hooking up with this person, after you hooked up a few times, start introducing stuff. Hey, you should do this. Hey, we should try this. Not like, hey, you're doing it wrong. Do this. Just 
more like encourage and be like, hey, like, let's try it this way. And that guy's going to be like, oh, okay, let's try it that way. And then he's, guess what? He's going to learn that maybe he was doing it wrong. Or it'd just be like, oh, shit, she really likes it when I do it like this. So I'm going to keep doing it like this. So, see, it's all about, that's how I learned, you know, because, again, nobody comes out the womb freaking amazing in bed, okay? You have to slowly learn, slowly introduce things, slowly start changing things, know what you're doing wrong, uh, know where you're fucking up. <laughs> I remember, like, I hooked up with, like, back in high school, like, you hooked up, with, I hooked up with this chick, and I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> uh, I thought I was killing it then, but now when you think about it, and you're like, oh, no wonder she didn't call me back. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's funny when, like, you look back and you're like, fuck, uh, I thought I was killing it. Definitely was not killing it. Uh, not even close. Uh, I thought I knew what I was doing. Definitely didn't know what I was doing, uh, you know, compared to now. So that's why I said, like, fellas, learn. Ladies, teach these fellas how to to do some of these things. Because uh, if you really like this guy, you're going to have to teach him a few things. No guy is perfect. Fellas, if you really like this girl, you're going to have to change your ways too. Uh, and don't be afraid to tell your man or your girl things that you don't like in the beginning. That way they can change it. Because uh, the longer you wait, the less they're going to change and going to be like, well, shit, you never said anything about in the beginning. But we all know how that puppy love process goes on in the beginning. Uh, to, uh, you let a lot of slide. You're You're blind to a lot of things in the beginning. So... Uh, and then also, uh, you know, I don't want to keep re, re reiterating some of the things that I'm saying during that too, but I'm actually going to be going to California here soon. So I'm excited. Uh, I'm going to go out there and record some content for you guys. And hopefully I get to meet some of you sucias and sucios, you know, cause guys follow me too. Girls, like they act like they don't follow me. A lot of people think that guys don't follow me. Yes. The majority is female, but guys do follow me. Guys do send messages too. And guys do ask for advice too. Cause trust me, there's guys out there willing to learn and appreciate the advice. Um, so that's why I said, and it's weird. Cause people are like, Oh, are you going to do a meet and greet? It's kind of weird for me to have a meet and greet because to me, I'm just like, yo, I'm just me. Like it's weird that so many people want to meet me. <laughs> Uh, as weird as that sounds, like it sounds weird me saying it, trust me. And so that's why I was like, maybe later on, uh, I'll do something like that, especially in the cities like where uh, some of the top places where the videos get viewed are uh, Los Angeles, well, California, um, Texas, <laughs> Arizona, Chicago, and New Mexico. And so maybe when I go to these cities, maybe if I go to like to the bigger city, like Los Angeles, not like a smaller city. Uh, well, I'm not going to a small city, but you know what I mean? Like you go to the bigger city and then try to maybe do something like that and then meet some people. Uh, but this time I don't think I'm going to do anything like that because, um, I'm kind of already planning out my days of what I want to do. I usually don't plan, but this is going to be more of a, like, let's get some content recorded. Let's do, there's a few places that I need to go and, uh, talk to some people. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's, uh, it's something that I, I want to make this trip a lot of like, things I need to get done um, because I could I could just go and just like hang out usually like I do every time I go on vacation or not even a vacation anytime I go somewhere I just go with the flow like there's maybe like one or two things that I want to do um, and then from there I just wing it but this time I was like oh like schedule's getting a little tighter meaning like uh, I got to meet with this person this person do this do this you know talk to this person and so which is cool you know what I mean? Like, so hopefully I can stick to the fucking schedule because uh, if it's just me, I, I think I can stick with the schedule. The, the only reason I never liked schedules before was because there's always when you go somewhere, you're like, hey, we're going to do this by eight or like, let's say noon. Right. We're going to do this by noon. Half the people aren't ready. Most of the people aren't ready. You're ready to leave. You're one of those that you were ready at 11, uh, ready to go at, at noon to be ready to leave to be there at noon or whatever you're going to do. You know what I mean? So everyone's a little different. I'm more of a just like, I hate waiting for people. So I'd rather just be able to be like, all right, pick up and go when I want. Even if I'm running late, I'd be like, all right, nobody's waiting on me. So I'm not, uh, nobody's like, oh, where the fuck is he at? You know what I mean? So, or, or if, uh, if I want to leave a little early and get, you know, get there a little early or do something a little earlier, I can. That's why I like going to the gym by myself. Cause sometimes shit happens 
And, you know, you're trying to coordinate with your partner. Hey, I can't go at this time. Can you go at this time? No, I can't go this time, this time. And then you make a awkward ass time to go to the gym. <laughs> um, but when you go by yourself, you're just like, oh, shit, I got to do this later. I'm going to go now. That way I have time to do. It. And it's so much easier. I don't have to coordinate with anybody. I can just be like, go do this, this. And then like when I go run, uh, I go and run when I have some time. When I wake, like I'll wake up, get up, change, go run, come back, shower, change and get to work. You know, I don't have to wait for a running partner or coordinate times or find somebody that had run at the same time. Or if something happens and I have to like run a different, like later, cause like today I didn't get a chance to run this morning. So I'm thinking about if it cools down to run at night, uh, probably run around uh, like when it gets cooled down cause it's, it's hot today. I'm, that's why I'm over here like wiping my forehead cause I don't have, I have a fan back there, but I don't want to turn it on cause it makes a lot of noise. And, and I don't want you to <laughs> get all muffled out by all the noise. So, uh, but anyways, I want to thank you guys for always joining me on these podcasts, always supporting it. You know, I try to keep them anywhere from like 30 minutes to 45 minutes just because uh, I want I want you to listen to this on the way to work, you know, on the way to work, uh, a quick workout, quick cardio session. I don't want to keep you here for too long unless it's a guest and we sit here and talk, chat forever. Then, of course, we'll have a longer podcast. But if it's just me, like I really wanted to touch on the communication part just because I did get several messages like that. Uh, thanking me, you know, guy, some guys are listening. There's guys out there that will listen and will do what you want. You know, you just stuck on this one guy that's not doing what you want or not, you know, you know, doesn't want to do things to please you. Well, that's probably the wrong guy. But anyways, I want to thank you guys. Keep supporting five stars. Leave a review. Thumbs up wherever you're listening to. Make sure you go follow the TikTok. Keep sharing the videos. I love it that you guys share it. Follow me on IG if you guys want to ask questions there. That's where you guys can ask me questions. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. And so cheap. The ghost is inside of me. Can't take it out of me. No matter where I've been. It's about where I'm meant to be. I be shining perfect timing. Check your watch, watch, watch.